Uh, the diagram shows how glass lenses change the direction of light rays passing through a telescope. What is the value of x? The angle formed by the crossed outermost light rays through the focal point. Looking at the picture, here we got our light rays coming through here. This is the lens. Um, the rays are getting directed to this focal point, and then they're coming out with an x degree angle here. All right, first thing I notice when I look at this picture, anytime I see two lines intersecting, like these two lines here, let me just highlight those lines with some color. Um, we still have a red line on here, oh yeah. There's our red line, and let's go with the blue line. Those are some classic colors for lines. All right, anytime I see two lines intersecting, I immediately go to the idea of vertical angles. I also go immediately to the fact that uh, this angle plus this angle is 180. So there's those, those types of things just pop in my head immediately when I see lines. All right? So I know for a fact i got vertical angles happening here. Specifically, this is x degrees here. So that means this is x degrees here. This whole big angle from the red to the blue. That entire span is x degrees. What they tell me also in the picture is part of the span is 11 degrees. And the other part of the span is 11 degrees, which makes this dotted line, let's give it a little line tool out here, dotted line, let's make it thinner, make it green. This guy here is a bisector. Not exactly straight, is it? Pretend it's straight. All right, so <clears throat> that green dotted line is an angle bisector, and um, specifically it cuts this x degree angle into two specific angles, both measure 11 degrees, right? If I were naming things, if, if this is point A and this is point B and this is point C, and then there's a point D on my line here, right? D is in the interior of angle ABC, so these two pieces have to add up to the whole thing. So I know that x has to equal 11 plus 11, so x must equal 22. Obviously that angle ABC is 22 based on that. We've already established that the angle we're looking for over here is exactly the same as the angle over here. So once we figure out either x, we've got both x's. That's the whole problem. Okay. Don't imagine that all word problems have to be challenging. Read the words, think through what you know, and then answer the question. As far as work to be shown, that's sufficient work for that problem. I'll believe that you believed that the vertical angles were equal. Okay, so show me how you got it and that'll be good enough.